Well, I think for, for my company, which is involved in experiential marketing, it's a great place to be because spirits naturally lends itself to experiential, right? Think of it as activating the five senses and engaging with consumers in a way that can create excitement and even transformation. And so it was exciting for us to be here to be able to kind of help the brands in the spirits industry to be able to capture, manage and measure the impact of what they're doing in that space. Well, I would say there's definitely a movement to uh, ready to drink. I think there's that convenience. I think you are seeing with economic uncertainty that consumers are more discerning about what they drink. So what that may mean is that they're just thinking more carefully about what they choose and what they spend money on. And so what you're seeing is, is they're going to, of course, look and understand what does the brand stand for? What is their purpose? Um, and are they, yeah, are they sustainable? Are they a brand that I want to be associated with? And so I think it's important for brands and particularly in the environment that we're in now with all this uncertainty to, to be, so be reestablishing that with consumers. Well, I, I think obviously in terms of reducing waste, uh, whether that's in packaging or in production and so on, like for example, when, when I was, when I used to work for Diageo, when we were doing a project there around brand homes where people would travel from long distances. We talked about sustainability in building out the spaces. We talked about in sustainability in terms of how we operated and sustainability in terms of how people got there and transportation. And I think that's really critical for brands to be thinking along that, that the same lines and everything that they do because consumers are paying attention. And maybe there's not a ton of evidence that consumers will pay more for sustainability or for inclusivity, but it's really critical that brands do this, otherwise they risk the potential for backlash in the future. Well, I think my key message was that uh, experiential marketing is an essential uh, component to creating long-term brand growth. And so it was about getting that point across, getting people excited about the potential of experiential marketing in, you know, in partnership with advertising and digital marketing and social but also giving them some ideas, some how-tos on how to actually do it. So not just theory, not just say, you should do this, but like actually giving them some ideas on how to work with agencies, how to understand like what questions to ask themselves and within the organization about how to embark on investing in experiential marketing.